a paranoid conspiracy theory rant or totally justified. This is for you to judge, not me. YouTube yesterday flagged a video for having a link that went to a website that's archived today, which compresses things and makes it to where it loads faster, a page without linking to it and disabling all the JavaScript. And that linked to a Reddit article or a Reddit thread labeled under the subreddit Abby and Libby concerning the Delphi murders. <clears throat> Google went out of its way to flag my whole channel over a single link, which it acknowledged it was only going to remove the single link, which means by their own rules they're not supposed to shut down your channel or punish you, for intentionally doing something that they had later admit the following. After taking another look, we can confirm that your content does not violate our community guidelines. <clears throat> That's lawyer speak for it never did and we made a mistake. It didn't violate the damn rules. It's a link to a Reddit thread about a subject. I guarantee you that if I make another archive link to the same thread, they'll flag my video, so I'm not including it. If I link to it, in fact, if I spell this just a little too, too perfectly, they'll flag the whole thing as a link. It's a, it's a thread on, the, on Reddit about the Delphi murders trying to figure out what phone was used. And specifically, mostly about the video resolution and photo resolution. Now, why would Google want to censor that? They don't. Or they do. Okay, let's do the paranoid thing, get it out of our systems. They know too much. No, then they would not let you find it by typing in the subject matter and finding that Reddit thread. It's still up. You can still find it. Well, there must be something redacted. You can look at archives of it and find out what was. Someone went in there and posted something objectionable. Now, I mean objectionable by Reddit standards, meaning a video of somebody blowing their brains out with a shotgun or something. I don't know what happened. But the point is, YouTube and Google did not want people linking to it at one time, and it was left on their list of no-nos. Now, obviously, that by flagging my channel, they're assuming I'm guilty of something. And better safe than sorry, let's shut them up. That's what I was complaining about. They also flagged that video for me complaining because I included a brand new link to the same article, thinking that that would make it okay. I thought maybe also it could have been just the string characters. They refused to tell me what it is, and they labeled it as pornography. But Reddit has porn on it sometimes. It has not safe for work content, but not real porn. What happened is somebody went there on a raid and posted real pornography. And the links were declared bad. Now they're probably not. But the point is, the behavior pattern. You're walking down the street and you whistle. You accidentally whistle a song that's, that makes someone angry because it reminds them of something. Or maybe it's something that a friend of theirs would whistle before they became enemies and they think you're with them. That actually happened to me on the street once. I was When I could whistle, I used to have front teeth mostly and I could whistle. I would whistle a song. Uh, it's from Kill Bill. I mean, I could whistle it well. I can still whistle it, but I could, I could really do a good job. And the person got angry at me, not because he didn't like the song, but because he thought, you're with him. Apparently he has some ex-boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever that scared him or made him angry for years, and he's now permanently tripping on it. It's a real trigger. The guy's suffering from post-traumatic stress syndrome, and that song makes him go off. It took a couple of minutes for me to explain, no, I was listening to it, and I liked the movie. And I showed him where I hang out, risking him, you know, harassing me. He's like, I, I had an ex-boyfriend, and he treated me like shit, and he would wander around town whistling it, trying to scare me. And the guy eventually got locked up and hauled off to another state. He's probably still in prison for now. But the point is, number one, it wasn't that song. I'm, I'm not going to tell you what the song is because I don't want anybody going around Portland fucking with him. Number two, the rest of the story is true. It really did happen that way. And next, I'm a victim of the same thing. I know someone who would mutter or hum a song to harass me directly. Not a ex-boyfriend or anything. Just a guy I know. No, really. 
No, it really was. It was somebody I knew. But he became psychotic. He lost his mind and fixated on me for shit. I don't even know how many years. Several years. A lot like the guy who did it on the internet or maybe one of your ex-boyfriends or girlfriends out there. The point is, that caused a reaction. It's not intentional. It's an innocent behavior on my part, but I wasn't going to whistle that ever again. I'm not telling you again what the, what the song was. And I'm not telling you the one that triggered me for two years by this person fucking harassing me. But you'd be innocent if you did it. So would you punish the person? Well, you might get socked in the nose, but it's not justified. YouTube flagging your account for something that dead ass can't be flagged for because they just admitted they were wrong. Because this is an admission that they shouldn't have flagged my channel. So why did they do it? Unless you're dead ass sure, you don't flag the whole channel. Again, it was a link that went somewhere that was really terrible. It probably wasn't porn. Okay? If any of you know what a raid is and what 4chan is, you already know what probably was in that thread. I'm going to try to find out in general what it was. I'm not going to fill out what it is. It's not relevant. And I'm not providing a link to the damn thing. The point is, it's not there anymore. I hope it's purged from the archives. I'll look for somebody explaining what the hell caused it. But somebody went on the Reddit thread concerning the Delphi murders and put something in there bad enough that YouTube had to auto-flag me. I had nothing to do with it. None of you did. I don't think we'll ever find out who did it. But someone did it to be an asshole and a troll. Public service announcement. Don't be an asshole and a troll on these subjects, please. Next. YouTube shouldn't shut down your channel and shut you up without explanation. Oh, you know what you did. Yeah, that works great during the Spanish Inquisition, which everyone now expects. Trust me, we've gotten used to it here on YouTube. But just like the Spanish Inquisition, this is not justified, and it's immoral. YouTube should have a policy of not actually harming anyone when censoring stuff. Now, at one point, they had a link that went to somewhere that had a virus on it. All they did was remove the links from everybody's videos, and then a month later told us, yeah, you had a link that it went to a web page that was eventually taken over by hackers, and they loaded it with viruses. We had to remove the link for a while. We've restored it. They didn't tell you they removed it because there's no point in telling you. They just aren't allowed to have it up. They were told by, at that point, I think it was the Department of Defense, this is a really hardcore fucking virus. It's infecting web servers. If you see a link going to it, remove them from the videos, but don't punish the users. They had nothing to do with it. Truly honest, because it was okay one day and then it was bad the next. In this case, the thread on Reddit was probably okay one day and then bad a year ago, and it was just left in their list of uh, Reddit threads that they're supposed to ban. Meanwhile, if you already had any strikes on your account, you lost your account when you shouldn't have. It's unfair. It's wrong. Google, YouTube, and every corporation has been told that unless you have positive evidence of somebody intentionally doing something wrong, you shouldn't shut them up because it doesn't set a bad precedent. It's prima facie evidence that you're doing something wrong. If someone wanted to push it, it would be a court case, and it would be free speech issue. Because you'd have to admit that, just like they did today for both my channels, we were wrong. They won't say it because they're a bunch of lawyers, but they were. The reason we have a problem with censorship, and it's not dog whistling, is because you eventually have to admit you're wrong, don't you? No, they won't. I'm going to cut and paste the entire copy of what they said. It's just a boilerplate, and I'm not going to include the specifics because, again, one of the URLs could get this flagged. And maybe, at one time, even legitimately. And I won't include the title of the video. It's just going to be a generalized, this is the complaint. I'll include when they accused me of being guilty and when they admitted, without saying it, that they were wrong. Getting a large corporation to double back and admit they were wrong is impossible because they don't want to be sued. But at this rate, their behavior pattern is we're suing them over. You're shutting people up on a venue, on a platform, on a commons. You don't want declared a commons. It's already been declared the commons in many countries. They're not allowed to do this if, if you're in certain countries, or if you merely claim to be from there. So are they going to do it to people in the next uh, Ukraine? Oh, we have a copyright complaint from the Russians. It's not a slippery slope. It's a cliff. Stop shutting us up. Admit you did it. 
Take your lumps and pay out the half million you'd owe everybody that you, you pay everybody 10 cents for the annoyance. Restore our channels. You don't have to give it back to Alex Jones if you want to, but stop lying about why you're doing it. Punishing my entire channel was because you're assuming I'm the person who did something that may have been six months ago that I didn't know it happened. And you just admitted you were wrong. Can't you learn from that? Can I have my old channels back? No. It's a corporation. They don't give a shit. But they like keeping you under their thumb. So if anybody thought I was being paranoid yesterday, do I sound less paranoid or more? I mean, really, which is worse? Thanks for watching. Have a good day.